Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. If this works, it's going to be a quick little video, and if it doesn't, you'll see me fussing around for a bit. This is with um, VMware Workstation version 12, and I've got a little virtual uh, machine, it's Windows 7. And what I want to do is use the drag and drop feature of VMware. So there's the file, called file.txt, and if I drag, you see it's not working. So I did a whole bunch of research, and this is driving me nuts. If you go back into VM, you'll see that I can't even install the VMware tools. A lot of people will suggest reinstall everything from scratch, and I did that. That's a complete waste of time. So here's the easiest way to fix it, and it's going to sound so weird, but it works. If I go above the floppy disk and I right-click, one thing, it'll, it'll have the um, settings, right? So I know you can't see it very well, but settings. So the virtual machine settings, lots of ways of getting here. It says using the file autoinst.flp. If I just say use the physical drive auto detect, I'm going to click OK. Now, I don't know if this works if I have to reboot it or not. Let me just try it. So grab file, drag. Yeah, you see it doesn't work. So I'm going to have to restart this machine. So let me do that. Restart. And I'll just pause the video and show you what it looks like when it starts up. All right, so we restarted our virtual machine. And look what popped up. Install tools. You see that? Click. And now it's going to install the VMware tools which amongst other things will allow me to drag and drop this file dot text file into the VMware environment. So the reason why this is important to me is because if you do want to copy files to the virtual environment you've got no real easy way to do that unless you start mapping drives to the virtual environment or flash drive but most of the time my stuff's on a server. So it'd be kind of nice if whatever's on my machine that I already got from the server I can just drag into a virtual environment. So that's what this is. So now we're just going to wait for the um, virtual tools to be installed. Oh, there you go. Run setup. Off we go to the races. I thought I was going to have to pause the video, but it seems like it's going to go. And there you go. So at the end of this, I'm pretty sure I don't have to reboot uh, the virtual uh, environment for this to apply. I think it's fairly dynamic. So we're just going to wait for this to finish installing, and then if all works, I'm going to take my little file .txt. I'm going to drag it into this environment. So I don't know how long this takes, but I'm going to pause the video, and that way you don't have to watch a box going across the screen. All right, so we're at the end of the VMware Tool Setup Wizard. Finish, and oh, it needs to restart. All right, I wasn't sure about that. I've only done this once before, and now it's obviously going to restart Windows 7 in the little virtual environment and then we will give it a test. So let me pause this and we will check it out when it boots. Alright, so the virtual machine rebooted. Now it's back and one thing I noticed after the VMware tools got installed, the resolution has changed on my virtual machine. See that? So it also installs print support and all that good stuff. But let's just go back to why I did this to start with. Here's my file, file.txt. If I drag now, you see that? Now it allows me to drag. So I can drag and drop into the virtual environment. So there you go. So that was, uh, believe it or not, that took probably an hour or two to figure out. <laughs> and I summed it up for you in about two minutes. Have a good day. Bye for now.